we have this entire beach all to ourselves. It is just stunningly beautiful. This is Whitehaven Beach. It's uh, in the Sundays. It has like super soft, bright white sand. It is absolutely stunning. And would you believe it? All of the day trippers are down the other end of the beach, probably about, I don't know, two kilometers away. And we're at the northern end, just as beautiful, if not more so. And we literally had the place to ourselves. So I am stoked about this. We are at Whitehaven and this has been voted the most beautiful beach in the entire world this year. We went ashore and had a little uh, walk on the beach. It's absolutely beautiful. It is really like a day tripper beach though. So overnight there's only a few boats here but during the day like the beach down the uh, southern end is absolutely round like packed full of people so we prefer it up here up in the northern end where there's uh, not so many people but we're about to weigh anchor and actually head a little bit further north then move on for this evening i'm excited beautiful day for it getting the anchor up now I'm gonna head to a place called border island it is mooring field only so very much hoping that we get there in time to pick up a mooring ball that will be really annoying if there's none left but it's too deep to anchor apparently fingers crossed it's still only 12 o'clock so hopefully we uh, were there early enough cracker of a day a cracker of a day here in the wit sundays it is amazing it's so beautiful after weeks of high winds and choppy sea conditions being out on the water on a beautiful sunny day with flat seas and a gentle breeze was such a joy. It's funny how it really doesn't take much to make us feel so content and at peace. Being out in the water, breathing in the salty air, listening to the sound of water against the hulls and watching the island landscape slowly evolve as we sailed north was so therapeutic. We've been so lucky throughout the pandemic in so many ways and we remain incredibly grateful for everything we were able to do but we get stressed and feel under pressure just like everyone else so days like this are our therapy. I'm sure you can all relate. Unfortunately the universe is all about balance and so Despite the fact that we had an absolutely amazing sale, something else happened that made us pretty stressed out. I'll explain exactly what happened in just a moment. But first, let's moor up in Border Island. Just rounded the corner of Border Island and uh, we can see the bay now that we're heading for. And there's only one boat that I can see in the bay, so there should be at least a few mooring balls free. But as I've said before, we can't see the mooring balls until we're practically on top of them because some bright spark decided to have the mooring balls all blue uh, so <laughs> it's only when you get up quite close to them you can actually you know see them the reef markers are all white so you can see those from quite a fair way away but yeah the mooring balls themselves are far less easy to see I do know that there should be five in this bay and there's only one boat so I like those chances 
There's two boats in there. Three, one. Oh yeah. Make that two boats. I think there's a boy behind the little fishing boat thing. I think there's also a boy behind that other catamaran, but we'll go in here. The stop's not very long. Three more meters. We can't take this mooring ball, it's um, for smaller boats. but very well protected and I'll bet it's like funneling through that um, kind of gap in the hills right behind me but very beautiful very very beautiful so as you can see we are here uh, right next to what looks like a pretty kind of nice little snorkeling spot I can see some coral there's um, a couple of people in the water in their dinghy I'm going for a little snorkel there's a bit of wind so um, Nick's not gonna come in with me because he's cut his finger open Tell you more about that later. I'm not ready to talk about it yet. But um, I'm gonna swim kind of into the wind and then just let the wind kind of push me back and uh, then swim back to the boat and Nick's gonna keep an eye on me from the boat. Well, I've had a little snorkel and had a nice shower. Can't be asked brushing my hair, so I look like a bit of a drowned rat, but I feel good. Oh, you look lovely. Snorkeling was uh, a little bit it was nice it was really nice to get in the water but um the visibility wasn't great so no. it was a bit of a shame but uh, i think that's because it's pretty windy anyway shall we discuss um what's going on with your thumb and my scuff scuff <laughs> you have so many grays <laughs> i have a, a fairly small bruise <clears throat> so uh, i guess uh one thing that we do we fly drones um so we came to we came out we came here with two two drones, which I thought was excessive. But you know the discussion was well, if we lose a drone, then we've got a spare, and um, that's the way it is. Anyway, today we were trying to take some footage of the boat under sail, and um, the drones are pretty safe in that if they if the propellers hit anything, they immediately shut down. But um, as we were trying to launch it by hand, um, it caught. Teresa's arm and I um, think I think that um it caught like a gust of wind or something and it just it as it was taking off it just kind of tilted sideways because yeah, so. I was holding it up like this and it kind of it must have tilted sideways hit my arm hit my arm and then it fell onto my head and then went into the water and then went into the water so one drone down which is um I was yeah we were both massively pissed off about yeah, that yeah there were a few four letter words <clears throat> Actually, I don't even know whether, like, I could, we were both so incandescent we could barely say anything. Yeah. Like, there was just a lot of extremely angry silence. Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> then... Good times. <laughs> <laughs> then the second drone went up and um, literally it, it stalled itself. So we had to literally turn the boat around and go and try and land it on the foredeck and... With, with the sails up, mind with you. With the sails up. It's a sail onto the drone. <laughs> I've sailed onto a boy before, but I've never sailed onto a drone. Anyway, it got to the point where I'm like, well, you know, I'm going to have to try and grab it. Um, yeah. And it just sliced the shite out of my thumb. So, yeah. So a bit of, yeah, one bad takeoff and one bad landing and one less drone. One less drone, one less battery. <sighs> So yeah, so if you see like a bloody expensive drone like at the bottom of the water, we apologize for the pollution that we caused. It was completely accidental. But this is the price of getting those shots. Taking shots yes. from a boat is always a very, fraught. very difficult. A moving boat is very, very, very difficult because what happens normally, obviously if you're taking your shots from a, even a moving car, the, boat, the drone will land itself if it runs out of battery. Or, you know, if you're on land, but as soon as you're on water, you have to land it 
exactly where you know on, on the, the boat, boat. Mm. And, and one of the problems is that even when you're at anchor the boat swings around like mad mm. so even you know i put the drone up again you know about 20 minutes ago to get a shot it's blowing you wouldn't think it, it's blowing about 20 knots here and literally the drone's like can't get back can't get back and it's just not happy and we're like Ugh, how do we land it this time but you managed that one this one i did yeah but yeah, really I guess. crashed into a massive purple catamaran today, that just like snuck up on us. Today is not is not a day for drone flying. I think it's just too windy. Yeah. And you know, I know that a lot of other channels have lost their drones. It's just it happens. It's part flying a drone from a boat. Well, maybe if you guys have ever flown a drone from a boat or from land and you've lost it, then let us know in the comments because that would make us feel better. <laughs> No, I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to kind of like take joy from other people's misery. No, not joy, not joy, but just like kind of. It's just honestly, it's just it is. Un, it's just one of those things. If you take aerial shots from a boat, from a moving boat, you lose your drones. Yeah. Um, this is what we've been telling ourselves a lot. And the thing is, you, I know you can get drone insurance, but we move around the world all the time. So how the hell we claim on that? I don't know. Mm. But nonetheless, that's our day. I really should have let that rag my thumb. Um, We'll be back again with another episode where I will be setting fire to my own head. <laughs>